Welcome to the Harrison Global Microsoft Dynamics CRM demo series. I am Callum Marshall, Solution Architect at Harrison Global, and I will be your guide to Microsoft Dynamics CRM during this presentation. This is part four of the series. Today we will look at marketing functionality, specifically marketing lists, marketing campaigns, and sales literature. A marketing list is a list of contacts or companies that share an attribute. It could be all of the customers who are in the East region or who recently purchased a product or even those whom you want to invite to a company event. To create a marketing list, click New. And we fill in the details, including the name of the marketing list, and whom it is targeted to. We'll select Contacts. Click Save, either at the bottom or up here in the top left corner. And now we add members to our marketing list. There are a couple ways to do it. Let's click on the plus sign beside members. We can look up individual members or we can use an advanced find. Advanced find is a flexible query tool that allows users to look at their data in very powerful ways. Here we'll see how simple it is to add all Canadian customers. So we'll select everybody whose address is in Canada. Here we see we have 19 returned. We're going to click this radio button to add all the members to that marketing list and click on the Add to Marketing List button. Now we can see our marketing list has been populated with all of our Canadian customers. We'll click Save. Now we can go to a campaign. Today we're going to do a normal campaign, but you can also do a quick campaign if you have just one activity to send to contacts. Let's click New. Fill in the fields of the campaign. We'll do a winter promotion here. We're going to send emails to all of our Canadian customers to tell them that there's 10% off uh, this particular sale. Campaign code will be filled in for us. In the campaign type, we'll do direct marketing. You can put in schedules, and you can put in how much you're going to spend on the campaign in the allocated budget fields. This is important so that you can determine your costs of your activities and later on how uh, effective your campaign is uh, considering the cost you spent on it. All the numbers will roll up uh, to the total cost here so that we can see how close we are to our budget when we're done. And hopefully we'll get some sales here. Click Save to save this entity. I'm going to go over to the marketing list section and relate it to a marketing list. Double click it and it will appear down here and then we click add. I'm going to say yes, add it to the campaign and all undistributed campaign activities. And here now we see the list. So now we have our campaign set up in our marketing list. We're going to actually create campaign activities. This is a specific email that will go out. Enter the campaign activity name. We'll select channel email. We can also do mail merge if we're connected to Outlook. We'll save it. You, know, you can also enter your actuals here too as well and that will roll up to your costs. And then we can add a marketing list. We see here Canadian customers has been added. 
And now we'll distribute the campaign activities. Sorry, save it first. That's what happens uh, when you have unsaved changes and you try to move on. And so here we have an option to use a predefined template, which is recommended as it would make it a little smoother. So now what I'll click is distribute. It will create an activity for each of those uh, members of that marketing list that are linked to this uh, email activity. Um, I'll assign them all to me, but you could assign it to a user or a team or even a queue if you have a queue set up. After a few moments, the system will create all of the activities and send them out. We can click in the uh, arrow in the corner to open this activity. And if we have someone come into our store and say, hey, I saw your email, we could promote this to response. This allows us to track the effectiveness of our campaign. So it is important to create campaign responses. And we'll add all that in. And we are done. Uh, one more area in marketing that's important is sales literature. Sales literature it can be specific product information and instructions designed to give the sales team product knowledge to help their sales efforts. It's simple to create new literature and to attach documents to the sales literature. Select the default subject. Click save, a title as well. And now we'll do a new attachment by going over to the sales attachments area, clicking on the plus sign, enter title, browse for my document by clicking the browse button, double click, and then on the document, then click attach. Now we can see it there, we press save and close. And now we can see that we have our sales attachment in our literature and salespeople can look for this information in the CRM system. This concludes the fourth installment of our Microsoft Dynamics CRM demo series. Thank you for watching. I hope it provided you some helpful information. We at Harrison Global are dedicated to helping you get the most out of your CRM solution. So please reach out to us with your questions. Our contact details can be found in the information section of this video. Have a great day.